Oh, finally. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I don't know if you can see in the background there, we are. Where are we, Dom? We're in Ravine. Oh, in can Croatia. you tell? Look, we've got our matching hats on. See? <laughs> see? Ravine. We bought them yesterday. Oh, actually, we bought. Lyle bought one yesterday, the day before, the hat, this one. And I got home and I wanted it, so I got it. And then, um, as always, <laughs> but then you went back and bought the green one, which you actually preferred anyway. So, happy, sure. yeah. So, we are sitting at a little beach, uh, around you can't see it from here, but to my right, um, you can see the big cathedral in the old town. And I might do a little sweep around where we are in a minute. Um, and we've walked well, I don't know how far have we come, we've done. Mm, so about four and a half K. So it's probably only about two, four and a half steps, sorry, thousand steps. So we've probably done about two Ks. Uh, we've just wandered around slowly. And um, there's all these little different beaches along the way, isn't there? Yeah, and this yeah. is Maloney Beach. Oh, is that? I thought we yeah. moved on from that one. No, no, this okay. is still Maloney Beach. Okay. And behind us, uh, there's some private, uh, well, they're not private chairs. Anyone can use them, right? The uh, sunbeds and sunbeds and the umbrellas. Yeah, but they're uh, ninety euro. Not each. nine, nine zero. Nine euro. zero euro each. What's that about? One hundred and forty bucks. Uh, yeah, one hundred and thirty-five. Right. Probably. Yeah. So that's to have two um, sunbeds and an umbrella. So, um, <laughs> but if you want to, you can just go there for free and sit on the pebbles. They call them. Um, yeah, the pebbles, yeah. Yeah, that's, um, but I, it doesn't look real comfy, does it? <laughs> no, I would think I'd rather pay the uh, 90 euro. And to be honest, it's been um, quite um, cool. Like it's uh, only about 20 degrees today, maybe 21. So I, I, I don't imagine we'll be getting in swimming anytime soon, do no, you? No, no. Um, so let's go back a couple of days. Um, yeah. Last time we did a live, we were in Ljubljana. and Tivoli Park. Tivoli Park, that's it, in um, in Ljubljana, and the, with the squirrels, remember? And then after Ljubljana, we headed to uh, uh, Bled, Lake Bled, and we tried to do a live there, but we just, it didn't work out. You know, we were all over the place with the camera and everything, so unfortunately that didn't work, which is a shame because, honestly, that place, Lake Bled, is fucking spectacular, mm -hmm. right? Did you say? I, I did. Like, it's, no, it's so, it's really... It is so beautiful. I've always wanted to go there since my daughter Michaela went like twice, you know, back from 2009 and 2011. And, it, yeah, it's just been on my list. Lyle had never heard of it. Yeah, I'd never heard of Lake Bled. Never heard of Lake Bled. I just, I can't believe that. I, but now I would put it on the list, you know, if there's a top 10, it's it's up there near the top, if not the top at the moment. Like it is it's so naturally beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, we talked about it and we sort of compared it to the South Island, South Island of New Zealand. Yeah, because you've got the lake and the snow-capped mountains and the wine and, yeah, yeah it's um, – but the colour of the water, it's – um, and, um, you know, some of you I know have um, followed me, uh, my personal Facebook account and there I, I put so many photos of, of the water. And we were there on a wet, rainy day. We were walking around in a raincoat and an umbrella and it was still shining blue, wasn't it? Yeah, and it, what it is is it's caused by the reflection of the sun, obviously, but also the ba the ba base of the lake is uh, like a white and grey limestone, which you can see uh, through in like when you're looking at the mountains, you can actually see uh, areas where you can see the white and the and the grey limestone. And well, of course, what that hat does is just reflect up through the the water, mm. and the, I've never seen. Well, I have seen it at that, um, where was that place? That was in Mexico. In Mexico. It was similar to <laughs> Bit of name dropping there. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. <laughs> but, it, yeah, like stunningly beautiful. But uh, Lake Bled, you can walk all the way around it. They say it's only 6Ks. I reckon it's a bit further, but it didn't matter. We just stopped. We took photos. There's the Olympic, uh, uh, Olympic. The Olympic? <laughs> the Olympic rowing, um, what do you call it? Um, Centre. Centre, right there on Lake Bled. And you actually... We were watching rowers train every every afternoon as well. And you can, you know, walk all the way through that. There's little restaurants along the way as well. Uh, the track's pretty good. You know, I've got a bit of a dicky leg, as I keep telling everybody, and I managed it just fine, didn't I? Yeah, you did. And the, the actual length of the lake is about 2.5K, mm. okay? 
and the width is about 1.350. So, Ooh, look at you go, um, Mr. Numbers Man. Oh, well, you know, it's, <laughs> it's what I do. Yeah, um, but I but, can't wait to podcast all about it. You know, we get, we'll tell you, we're going to give you all the info now, but we'll tell you all about the where we stayed because that was fabulous. Uh, we'll give you some hints on things. Like we, there's one activity we did that oh, everyone does, but I don't know that you need to, and we'll probably tell you about that as well. And we did another um, uh, activity which uh, not – Many people do, which is a must. Yeah, well, we um, will quickly give you a quick talk, talk about that one. Once again, Michaela told me about this place and I looked at it, it looked amazing and uh, what, you know, umming and ahhing, you know, once again, should we go there? And then we were sitting at breakfast one morning before we went to Bled. We were still in Ljubljana and there was a, a daughter and her mum, English ladies, and, um, you know, they were saying how wonderful they thought Bled, Bled was. You right yep. there, a bit comfy? Sure. All right. Um, and... They said out of everywhere they'd seen in Slovenia, even the caves and all that stuff that we saw as well, uh, Vit, Vit, Vint Gar Gorge was the top of the list by far. And so with their recommendation and what you know, Michaela had said, we, we did that. Yeah. And, um, yeah, OMG. It was, it was yeah. I, I just couldn't stop taking photos. I couldn't. Just we just kept stopping to admire the view. You're walking along the edge of a cliff on a wooden sort of walkway, and you've got the once again that beautiful water and the trees. There's about you know 30 to 100 meter um, cliff faces with trees all over them. It, it was it was really amazing. I and the it. cliff faces are like straight up, yeah. you know. And we actually had we you get given a helmet. Um, when you first start the the trek, I and suppose. And it's only ten euro to do the trek. You got to pay yeah. to get in, yeah. Yeah, and um, I couldn't. I thought, why are we? Why are we getting a helmet? I'm like, are we ziplining here? Yeah, I'm thinking <laughs> maybe this is a little bit more dangerous than we thought it was going to be. But yeah. all it is is because the cliff faces are so sheer. Sheer. They're worried about rocks. Yeah. Obviously hitting yeah. you on the head. Yeah, because when uh, Michaela saw how. Um, our stories I did she's like what's with the helmets I'm like well we didn't have a choice and you, the guy got a bit cross because we didn't have our hair nets on like we didn't know anything about that did we anyway we, yeah, well, I think you're exaggerating cross was but, I yeah oh, but okay. anyway but yeah so th that, that was, was beautiful yeah. um, so our week in Slovenia is a s small country it's a stunning country and I've already had a couple of people ask me a few questions because they're coming or they want to go and um, if it's not on your list Put it on there. You won't. You will not be sorry. I guarantee it. And However, it is reasonably expensive. Um, the, a glass of wine you're talking about probably on average twelve euro, which is probably twelve euro. That oh okay uh, yeah, for the yeah, big glass for the yeah. for the point two because you can get it like in um, Ljubljana you can have you can ask for a point one which is a hundred mil or you can ask same for as a in Budapest you mean point two yeah oh same as Budapest yeah. yeah. You can um, so a hundred mil is the price they put in the menu. Um, but you get if but they normally give you a point too. So if you, if you've looked yeah. in the menu and it says like five fifty or six euro, that would normally turn around and be um, it would come up at six. It would be twelve euro, mm. and that twelve euro is about eighteen dollars a glass of wine. Mm. So but anyway, this. Not everyone drinks wine like us, I suppose. Well, we we we, are, we behaved ourselves. We, we, I've never behaved myself so much in my entire however, life since we've been however, here. However, that's that you can go to the supermarket like we did every day and buy a bottle for six euro. So sure, you know, there's ways around it. So we left um, Lake Bled and we were lucky enough to get a, a private transfer. You know, just we're doing it a bit easier this this trip rather than try and walk around with heavy suitcases everywhere we go. And uh, that was a fun trip. Our driver. Never shut up the whole time, did he? We had just chat, chat, chat. And next thing you know, we're, we've arrived in um, Ravine in, in Croatia. And I our, think he was very interesting. He was very interesting. I think that he gave us a, a fairly good synopsis of um, the political environment, uh, environment here, here in uh, Europe. Yeah, I'm sure nobody cares. Really, um, right but no, he was all right. He, anyway, that'll be a great podcast. In fact, we're going to do a, a couple. Um, we've just, you know, we've got the Budapest one to come out yet, one more. Oh, we've just released the second one. And then, yeah, we're going to do, the, we did a day trip and all about the caves and everything and then about Ljubljana and then about Bled. So there's, there's a bit of stuff coming with that, which I'm really excited about doing that as well. And then um, there's uh, oh, a funny story about getting to, to Bled as well. Oh, my gosh, that was 
That was um, Victor. Yeah, Victor. You're oh, very. Was it Victor or Boris? I don't know. And Victor, <laughs> you're a very unattractive <laughs> man. Remember that. But he was seriously. Yeah. I thought we were going to be kidnapped. Anyway, that we'll leave that that story for the podcast. Yeah, so we arrive in in Ravine, and the middle part of town, the, the square, they're uh, actually um, renovating or fixing all the the paving in it. And so sometimes you can't drive in there now. So there's little. Uh, delivery trucks that can and the little golf carts and so uh, um, Petra from our accommodation she came and picked us up on the little red um, golf cart and we zipped in through the streets and uh, arrived at um, our Porta Annika it's called or Antica Antica yeah and it's right uh, on the water uh, with a little restaurant in front and then there's the big oh bird just shit on me (laughs) oh charming it's nice, have you got a, have okay, you, yeah, I've got a little. Yeah, little okay. Don't worry that'll about that. That'll teach you for putting it's shit good luck. on. It's, that'll <laughs> teach you for putting shit on Victor. It, oh, there it is. Only a little bit too. Go away, shoo. There, thank you. Oh, that's good luck if the bird poos on you. Apparently. Is that right? Mm. Yeah. Is anyway. that lucky for me? Does that mean it's lucky for me? <laughs> no, lucky for mm. both. Well, of us. both. Yeah. See. Um. So love the way you think. What, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. Oh. So we we arrived at our accommodation, and this time instead of being a hotel, we're in a little um apartment. A uh, little one bedroom, part with a little kitchenette, a little lounge room, and a balcony which you open the doors and you're overlooking the Adriatic Sea. So it's it's in a great position, and yeah, yeah really happy with the the apartment. A little bit small in the bathroom. You want to be a big person or a tall person or a wide person, you might struggle a, a little bit. But we we found that before in some of these European places, they you know they're obviously you know they don't there weren't that many big people around back in the day i guess but well apparently not but um <laughs> the stairs up are pretty steep but um once we got the suitcases up they're there for a week so that's okay we even cooked like we went to the supermarket and um we've made lunches the last couple of days we've got a picnic pack today and uh lyle cooked me eggs on toast for brekkie so you know yeah. we, we well we did just have a nice coffee though they the coffee in croatia has been lovely yeah, the coffee's unbelievable mm, mm. and yesterday i think we we bought uh, two coffees for under three euro. Yes, I think it was cash. about a, yeah, it was about it was about a dollar thirty nine for, for each. You know, that and was in the old town. That part. was in the old town, and the coffee seriously was fabulous. Yeah, and then we just had a coffee on this side, the fancy pantsy, the fancy pantsy side, you? and yeah. it was uh, six euro. So it just depends. <laughs> but in saying that, the wine here, and I know I focus on the wine, but. Um, we are beach travel wine. Yes, uh, the wine here we're being charged on probably four fifty for a two hundred mil, um, or two fifty mil actually. Yeah. They have two fifty mil wine here, and so we're say at say at four fifty. That's about be lucky to be seven dollars a glass. And of, that's a decent glass of wine. That's a decent glass <laughs> of wine, and the wine's really, really good. I found out the grape; they call it Mal. Uh, oh, it's just gone straight out of my head. I don't know. You could have said anything, and they would have believed you. Malvisia. Malvisia is the grape. And but you know what? We sat down at a restaurant last night, which was recommended to us by this um, guy guy that we bought some stuff off yesterday. And um, no, no, we didn't go to that one. There was no one there. We went to the one next door, and we sat down. And we're looking at the wine list. And it was back to the six euro for a hundred mil again. Yeah. So we left the restaurant based on the wine price and went like honestly. I can't see what the problem is. I with can't that. either. But every, there's restaurant after restaurant after restaurant, and they're all the same. They all sell the fish, which is you've loved at both yeah. nights. They've got pizza and pasta, and that's about it. And yeah, but you had pasta last night, and you yeah. said it was fabulous. Yeah, it was you great. had the prawn and. So what I'm saying, okay, let me finish my story. What I'm saying is they all look exactly the same. So you think you go into one, you'll get similar sorts of food, which you do, but mm. the, the wine price is very incredibly is what I'm mm. saying. So okay. that's that's what I was getting at. No, I'm not unhappy. My food's been, yeah, it's salmon and then I had last night pasta. So I'm really happy with the food. Tonight, though, we're going to a fancy schmancy one, um, a Michelin star restaurant, which is right on the, what do you call it, the, the edge there at... Um, yeah, whether it's famous, you know, if you look at look Ravine on the online, you'll see people sort of sitting on the rocks on on a cafe on a restaurant in the sunset. So now the last few days have been a bit cloudy. Today's the sun's out bright. Um, hopefully we'll get a nice sunset tonight. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of a spoil today. Yeah, I reckon it'll be more than four fifty for two fifty mil of wine. Oh, but, you know. <laughs> oh well, when well, in when in Ravine. Yeah, when in Ravine. Yeah, so looking looking forward to 
to doing that as well. We haven't got much else planned. We uh, we have a day trip on Sunday uh, going into some of the little uh, mountain towns in Istria and doing a truffle tasting of all things. That's a whole day tour, so that'll be that'll be a bit of fun. And other than that, we just think tomorrow's going to be another lovely day. We might just find another um, sunny spot to go and sit and read and enjoy the sunshine, yeah? yeah. yeah. And this part of Croatia was controlled by the Italians so much, from, for many, many centuries. And, you, and even now, the, the street signs, they've got um, both Croatian and Italian, Italian um, mm. on the signposts. So, yeah, yeah incredible. Yeah. And... Uh, I don't know if I said this already. We walked around the old town yesterday, and this, they're some of the prettiest streets I've seen in Europe, you, aren't they? The, the, the little streets that we well, I think streets. like every every building seems to have a little shop. You know, that's part of and it's handcrafted stuff. You can see someone's painted little rocks, or they've made jewellery. There's galleries with you know they've got the art sort of in the funky paintings. sort of ways. There's shops where you go down the you know like these steep stairs. <laughs> And all the way down, they've got these beautiful dresses hanging and there's a little chair down the bottom. There's bars and wine bars that you go down and sit on the edge of the water a, as well. And it's all and all looks really good quality oh, stuff. It's like it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's incredible. It's a, it was for me, it was a real eye opener. And it's not a big, not a big city at all. But I reckon we we could walk around that te- for another couple of hours and still not. Um, oh, I think calling it a city is a bit of an exaggeration. It's very, it's very much a village, really. Sure, but like what I'm saying is there's, there's be lots of little streets we haven't been up or sure, down yet, sure. you know. And I'm sure we will. We've got seven days. Yeah, we've got seven days. We Well, not now, but five left. Yes, sure. we have. All right, I'm going to pick up the um, the tripod and swing it around so you guys can have a look. I'm just going to do a little um, panorama of where we are. Does that sound like a good idea? Sounds like a and fantastic idea. And then we need to idea. walk a bit further, although... Our backpack has broken this morning, so... The strap, the, which is a pain boasting. in the ass. It is. So, anyway, we might have to have our picnic early and get rid of the food. <laughs> dump dump it. So, we've got to go and find a backpack somewhere, so... Well, it's 11.16. Yeah. Well, well, we didn't bring wine, though. Yeah. Anyway. We're saving for up for the night. <laughs> All right. I'm going to pick you up. All right. I'm try and go nice and slow so you can see here. It's like an inflatable. It's very quiet here at the moment. There's not that many tourists. 20 days. Yeah, they reckon come June, um, it's it's like, you know, wall-to-wall people. We went into a shop yesterday and the guy's trying to sell Lyle some long pants and Lyle's saying, we don't need long pants. You know, where I come from in Australia, we never wear long pants. We wear shorts, etc. And he said, where are you from? And, you know, obviously Australia, Queensland. And he said, Australia, you know, we normally don't get any Australians here until high season, so... Um, yeah, but I get, and they, they keep telling us high season starts in June. So we are going to still be in Croatia in June, so it'll be interesting to see the difference. But everywhere you go, like there's all those sunbeds and everything, they're all, there's plenty of room at the moment for, for everybody. And you might be able to see right over in the background over there, that's the, the church right up the top of um, the old town in, in, in Croatia. You for me, and out in front Saint of here, Euphemia. the the land out in front there, that's actually another island, and they have hotels. It's, you might be able to see that over there as well. Um, so luxury hotels, and then obviously some of the luxury hotels are here. They've got like the this area on this side is called Hotel Park, and it's just full of uh, luxurious looking hotels. But right along the edge of that is the marina, which is full of the biggest luxury yacht you've ever seen. And, you know, the Jags and all the cars, the Mercs and all the cars are parked there as well. So it's obviously very high end here. Yes? Sure. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our little um, little chat about Ravine. Here we go. And um, we will see you um, again. I don't know where we'll be, but we'll be back. See you later. Yeah, see ya.